How many people were on the UC roster that you know very well? Um, I don't know many of them very well. I know um, a guy that I went to high school with by the name of Solomon Thompson. I believe he's a middle linebacker. That's probably the only guy that I really know. And what kind of a, how big of a deal is it, do you think, for Cincinnati to be playing Ohio State? Um, do they, they, I mean, are they, do they think of themselves as being slighted because all the attention is paid to Ohio State? Um, probably. So they're going to come in with a chip on their shoulder, ready to play. And um, we just got to go out there and give it all we got. Did they recruit you? Yes. Very hard? Mm -hmm. That was actually my very first offer was from the University of Cincinnati. Did you take an official visit? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. What would you think of the place? Um, they actually was my, my second choice. Uh, Coach Combs, when he was there, did a great job of recruiting me, but I just felt like Ohio State was the best place for me. Why was that? Um, what I, I didn't want to be too close to home, but I wanted to be close to home, if you get what I'm saying. And, uh, I just felt like Ohio State was, was good because of the foot, t tradition with football and sports and academics, so I just felt like that was good. But you felt the Cincinnati program was good enough that it's a place that you could have gone mm -hmm. um, if you if, that's, if you wanted to be close to him. Yeah, uh, at the time, when I first got the offer, uh, Brian Kelly was there. I heard he was a good coach. Mm -hmm. Then uh, Bush Jones took over. Me and him kind of built a, a good relationship. But um, once Coach Meyer came in, I kind of knew that's who I wanted to play for. So you said they were the, your second choice. It mm -hmm. doesn't sound like it was close once Ohio State. Like you weren't. It wasn't like, eh, I don't know. Uh, it, it was, it was kind of close. It was I, I actually. Had a uh, had a talk with my dad, but the day before I before I uh, verbally committed, and it, 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 them actually was the closest too, because I had it was uh, Ohio State, Cincinnati, Michigan State. You also were hearing the rumors that Urban Meyer was going to be the next coach at Ohio State. How much did that play into that last minute um, thinking, Adolphus? It played a big role. I mean, uh, I knew Coach Meyer had won two national championships. Didn't really know a lot about him, but I knew he had won two national championships. So. I, f I figured I could probably get one out of my belt in the four years that he's there. <laughs> have you been looking forward to this game because it's Cincinnati? Yes, I have. Yeah. How I have. special is it to you? Um, it's very special. Um, like I said, I know the I know the uh, the guy that I went to high school with, Solomon Thompson. Uh, another guy I know, Brandon Mitchell. Uh, I played against him at high school a couple times. We both went to uh, public schools, and um, I don't know. It's just that feeling of play against play playing against my home my hometown, my home city. I don't know. I know you went to Taft, but I don't know. Did you grow up in that area? Where did you grow up? No, I, I actually grew up in like the the Westwood area. Okay. That's kind of like probably like ten minutes yeah, away from 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 that did area. Did you go to Cincinnati UC games when you were a kid at all? No, not really. I went to I went to basketball games because my uh, my granddad worked there for for like 35, 40 years. He was a janitor. He used to get tickets, and we'd go to basketball games. I never really went to football games. Dolphus, the last time that Ohio College beat Ohio State was 1921. Can you mm. imagine what it would ever be like if Ohio State were to lose to somebody else in the state? Um, they're probably party all week in Cincinnati. <laughs> <laughs> what would they do in Ohio State? <laughs> <laughs> Go back to the drawing board and try to get a win the next week. Did you ever consider playing college basketball? Uh, actually, yes, I did. Um, my freshman year, I actually gave up football to try to concentrate on basketball. And um, I was just playing football just for the fun of it. I was really focusing on basketball. But once Cincinnati came in and gave me that first offer, I kind of considered it, like maybe I can do something with this. And then my sophomore year, that's when all the offers start rolling in. Rolling in. They gave you an offer when you were a freshman? Yeah. And I um, I wasn't really getting the attention for basketball other than like uh, Xavier was my my uh, biggest Division I scholarship, but it was the rest were just like little schools. So I figured basketball, I mean, football is what I need to do. So you see that show any interest in you in basketball? Oh, uh, yeah. They said I can uh, walk on to play. It was a, it was a lot of uh, schools that was offering me for football said I can walk on to play basketball. So you see offering you in football kind of got you back into football. Like yeah, yeah, kind of, yeah. So you wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, some a complex life. <laughs> if you see it offered you a basketball scholarship, would that have made? Would that have been different? Um, I mean, do, would I don't, you have considered uh, going there more? I guess I'm asking uh, if you were more of a UC basketball fan than football fan. Um, I don't, I don't know about that because I feel like I, I probably still would have made that decision later on in my high school career that football is what I need to do. Dolphus, you look at their offense with uh, Keel. If you guys don't get pressure on him. 
he's got the ability to really make you guys pay regardless exactly. how good your coverage is. How important it's going to be for you guys to get pressure on him this week? Um, it's going to be very important. We got to make him uh, feel uncomfortable. We got to make him move around a little bit so he can't just stand there and lock onto a target and get the, get the ball down the field on us. In their offensive line, what do you think about the, the challenge you guys face there with those guys? Looks like a a pretty solid group across the front. Yeah, yeah, they're, uh, they're a very good group. They uh, they all play good together, and they're good at what they do. Did you like basketball better than football? Uh, at one point in time, I did. Not anymore. No, nah, no, nah, not anymore. But Dolphins, you went, you went through this. Uh, why is Ohio State, I don't know, what, how is Ohio, Ohio State perceived in Cincinnati among high school, I mean, players, et cetera? A lot of people think they've had trouble getting in there and staying in there recruiting-wise and stuff. Obviously. You were convinced to go to Ohio State and mm -hmm. stuff, but what what is how is Ohio State perceived down there? Um, it, it, I, I guess you say you could say the closer you live to to the UC to the university, it's the more uh, Bearcats fans. But like it, farther away, like why, the neighborhood I live in, it was like man, it, I ain't gonna say it was all Ohio State fans, yeah. but it was more Ohio State to Cincinnati. I can say your grandpa. I mean your your dad. They, they were big Ohio State fans, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my yeah, my grandpa did. My my dad actually played there for a year, and then he transferred. And my granddad worked there for many yeah. years. Yeah. You guys haven't had a chance to roll out this this new defense you know, really for the first three games because of the, the opponents. Are you curious? Are you anxious to see? What this defense looks like against a team like Cincinnati, who's really, gonna, who's yeah. gonna really test, you know, your guys' perceived perceived uh, weakness. Um, yes, uh, I, we are very excited about it. We know that what uh, what Gunner Kill likes to do, he likes to throw the ball, and um, our DBs are ready to step up to the challenge and guarding the receivers and taking away the pass. You came here as a defensive end, right yeah. now you're playing inside. Mm -hmm. What is that adjustment? Do? Um. It's a big adjustment. You got to go against uh, bigger guys that are a lot stronger. Um, it's just, but I feel like I have the advantage because I still have have my quickness and my speed that I that I had when I was on the outside. So I feel like I kind of got an advantage. The only thing I had to do was just learn how to play the run, and I feel like I'm doing that pretty good. How man. did you feel when you found out you had to do that? I was actually I was devastated. <laughs> I was uh, quite nervous because uh, when I came in, I was behind uh, Jonathan Hankins, um, and he was just—I would just see like the double teams. I'm like, like what? What am I supposed to do against that? And it's just—I just practiced it, and it, I, I'm pretty good at it now. So How was, did you get to the point where you bought into it and were willing to, to really embrace it? Um, last year when I got hurt playing defense and end, and I wanted to be on the field so bad, but I, I wanted to play in, but. That that spot just wasn't open because of uh, Joey Bosa, so I had to make, I had to take that sacrifice and play three technique, and I'm here now. So it's better either do it or don't play. You describe right. describe the uh, uh, that conversation in which they basically said, "Look, you got to go inside." Um, who was that kind? Of? That was with uh, Coach Vrabel. It was kind of came in on a Tuesday. He was like, uh, "Didi, I'm gonna try you out at uh, three technique. Let's see how you do there." Um, in practice, I was doing pretty good. So he had me going with the uh, ones and the twos. So it was kind of like I knew that's where I was going to be because I, I thought I was going to go with the ones at defensive end. I mean, at defensive tackle and then the twos at end. But I seen that I was playing tackle with both. So I kind of knew, like, well, I better get used to this. So. <laughs> I mean, coming in coming into this year, um, there was a lot of expectations for this defensive line. And you were the guy that a lot of people are pointing to. <clears throat> You were not an underachiever because you had the injury, uh -huh. but you were the guy that needed to take that, that leap. How yeah. did you approach that? Um, Coach Johnson, when Coach Johnson came in, he kind of he took us all under our wing, but um, I feel like I connect with him a lot better because um, it's just just the type of person he is. He he showed that he loves you. He do he do everything for you, and it just how can you not go out there and just play hard for for a guy like that? Is three technique a different? Position now to a certain extent, though the way y'all are playing defense now compared to a year ago, uh, Adolphus. I mean, do they want you to be a little more aggressive, et cetera? I mean, obviously you got to take on double teams when you got to take on double teams, but how, how has that changed just to, in your little world? Um, this new aggressive defense. I feel like I feel like now that um, uh, the three technique has to uh, 
be the the that second guy other than the defensive ends have to be that 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 second best pass rusher mm -hmm. on the defensive line because the three technique gonna get most of the one on one. So I feel like that's a pretty good thing for me because I still got the speed, like I said. Yeah.